Hi, my name's Simon Jones, and I have not done a hit film tutorial for a very long time. That's because I now work at the Writers' Centre, where I have been fiddling around with things like the International Literature Showcase, which is a really exciting project. If you're working in the literature sector, I highly recommend checking it out if you happen to be. But of course, just because I don't work at FX Home anymore doesn't mean I'm not using hit film. And in fact, something I've been using it a lot for is to make visual graphics and idents and what have you. Um, and this one here was made for this commission by Raymond Antrobus and somebody on Twitter asked me to do a tutorial showing how to create this. So that is what I am just about to do. Uh, what the intent was here was to show a audio waveform being distorted and dispersed and uh, HitFilm was perfect to create this kind of thing uh, really quickly and really easily. So here we are in HitFilm and uh, I'm going to kind of reverse engineer this and show you how it all slots together. So we kick off with an audio waveform. This is just being generated from a uh, audio file, doesn't really matter what it is, just find something that generates the kind of audio waveform that you want for your effect. So you can go for something that's really extreme or really small, doesn't really matter, just uh, go through what you have. It can be a video or some music or whatever, as long as you can generate the waveform that looks right. Uh, this is done using the audio waveform effect, of course. And then onto this, I've slapped the atomic particle effect. You can't really see it because of the way I've set it up, but if I increase the dispersal amount, you can see that actually this is made up of atomic particles. I've just reduced most of the settings down to zero so that it still looks like the original form. Okay, onto this, um, I actually used the fractal warp and I linked this to a fractal map. So rather than warping the whole thing, it only warps what I want it to do. And uh, illustrate what I'm actually doing with that. Down the bottom of the timeline here you can see we have this new plane onto which I've placed a color gradient. This is actually a black to white gradient and you can see the two points here. As I move this part you can see the, uh, the gradient there but note that as I adjust the gradient it's actually dispersing that atomic particle field at the same time into a kind of cloudy form looks pretty cool. You can actually animate it like this if you want it as well. And so it's simply a matter of putting this gradient wherever it is I want it to begin that dispersal. So we'll go for about that. Um, the reason I've got it set up like this, uh, I have this grade layer just above it and whenever you put a grade layer in it actually flattens everything underneath, uh, which means that in the atomic particles effect I can now link to this grade layer as the uh, fractal map and it will then take everything underneath it as that map, which in this case is this black to white gradient. Uh, if we come in here, you can see that that's how it's set up. And then I just adjusted these fractal settings until I got the general look that I wanted, which in this case was this kind of cloudy appearance. Now between the effect and the gradient map, I then just put in a simple black plane so that you can't see the gradient. And you can start to see the, the shape that's going on there. And then after the atomic particles effect, I then got the light sword ultra effect which is kind of exciting because that's a new effect that wasn't there when I was still working at FX Home and uh, they've been adding all sorts of crazy new things into HitFilm. This is the latest version of HitFilm Pro uh, which has got stuff in it that I still haven't quite wrapped my head around. Uh, there's some of you out there who are probably more expert than me these days which is really exciting. Uh, the tutorial channel is healthier and more interesting than it ever has been I think. Uh, anyway getting to the point. If we turn this on, we get not only a nice glow, but we also get this really interesting distortion effect going on around the edge. Um, and that kind of all just happens for free, which is pretty great. Um, this is using the uh, energy distortion. And that's pretty much the core of the effect. I also threw in a couple of lights just to control the overall look of it so that it's brighter over here and gets a bit dimmer over this side. Uh, you could very easily adjust those lights to whatever your purpose. But yeah, that is pretty much how you do the effect. And of course, once you've got it set up, just by using a different waveform or even just going to a different frame, you can get wildly different results, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's how that image was created for that particular commission and blog post. Uh, I hope that was useful. Um, and yeah, I'll see you around on the HitFilm forums. Thanks for watching.